each chiral center in the following molecules with an asterisk. How many stereoisomers are possible for each molecule? So what we're looking here for are chiral centers, which are atoms that have four different groups, and those atoms are usually carbon. So we're looking for carbon with four different groups, and if we find one, that means we have a chiral center. Let's take a look at each molecule. In A, is there a carbon that has four different groups? If we look at this carbon in the middle, it is connected to OH, it's attached to OH, CH3, another CH3, and CH. So these two groups are identical, so this cannot be our carbon, our chiral carbon. This carbon has three hydrogens, so three identical groups cannot be it. Same thing for this one. This carbon has two hydrogens, ident two identical groups. We need four different groups, so that can be it. This carbon also cannot be it. When you're in a double bond, you will not have four different groups. You will be attached only to three different things. So we can disregard this as well. So molecule A does not have any chiral centers. So we will say no. Let's look at molecule B. Let's look at this carbon. This carbon has a hydrogen, an OH, a CH3, and COH. So this carbon is connected to four different groups. It's connected to a hydrogen, an OH, a CH3, and COH, which are all different. So this carbon is a chiral center. So we will go ahead and give it an asterisk. Now, how many stereoisomers are possible for each molecule? The number of stereoisomers, maximum number of stereoisomers, is um, we we'll use the formula 2 to the n, where n is the number of chiral centers. In this case, we have one chiral center, so 2 to the 1 is equal to 2. Two stereoisomers are possible for our B. Now let's go to C. Are there any carbons that have four different groups? So let's look at this carbon. This carbon has a methyl and a methyl. So no, this carbon cannot be it because it's connected to two of the same groups, two CH3 groups. These carbons are not chiral either because they have three hydrogens. Remember, we want to have four different groups. So if a carbon has two or three hydrogens, automatically it cannot be a chiral center because it won't be able to have four different groups. So we can disregard this, this, we said this one doesn't work because it's connected to two methyl groups. And let's look at this carbon. Let me actually erase my thing. So this carbon has NH2, it's connected to H, it's connected to this group, and it's connected to this group, COH. It's hard to see here, and it would be easier if we draw it out. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and draw this one out, and then I will do the rest of them without drawing it out. But just to show you, one, two, three, four. So we have four carbons. And the second carbon has a methyl group. The third carbon has NH2. And the fourth carbon is a part of carboxylic acid. This is what our molecule looks like. So this carbon is connected to a hydrogen. NH2 group It's connected to this group, which is isopropyl, and this group, which is carboxylic acid. So this carbon is a chiral center because it has four different groups. A hydrogen, NH2, COOH, and CH, CH32. Now, how many stereoisomers are possible? Again, because it has only one chiral center, it will have two stereoisomers possible. And let's go to D. Are there any carbons here that could be chiral centers? This one is connected to three hydrogen, no. This one is connected to a double bond, no. Two hydrogens and three hydrogens. Again, we can always disregard carbons that have two or three hydrogens because automatically they can't have four different groups. So this one does not have any chiral centers. Next one, if you look at this carbon, it has hydrogen, OH, 
but then it has CH2OH and CH2OH. These two groups are identical. So this carbon is not a chiral center because this group is attached to and this group is attached to are identical. These carbons cannot be chiral centers because each one has two hydrogens. So this one does not have any chiral centers either. And let's look at F. This carbon has three hydrogens, no. This carbon has two hydrogens, no. This carbon's on a double bond, no and no. So let's go ahead and look at this carbon. It's connected to OH, a hydrogen, an ethyl group or two carbons to the left, and it's also connected to two carbons on the right. But on the left, there is a single bond, and on the right, there is a double bond. So this carbon is a chiral center. Let me just erase my other notes. This carbon is a chiral center because it has four different groups. It has OH, a hydrogen. I'm just going to erase it and show it here so it's easier to see. A CH2-CH3 group on the left and a CH double bond CH2 group on the right. So four different groups mean that there is a chiral center here. And there will be two to the one, again, because there's only one chiral center, so there will be a maximum of two stereoisomers possible for this molecule. Now let's go to G. Again, we can disregard this carbon because it has two, two hydrogens. This carbon has a double bond. If anytime you see COOH, that means there is a double bond, so we got rid of it also. This carbon has CH2COH on top and it's attached to CH2COH on the bottom. So this carbon cannot be a chiral center either because it's connected to two of the same groups. Remember, we want to have four different groups. So this is not it. This carbon, again, cannot be a chiral center because it has a double bond O. Anytime you see COOH, what that means is this carbon is looks like this. It's connected to double bond OOH, and this is not going to be a chiral center either. So this molecule, these carbons don't work. This one doesn't work. They all CO belong to the COH groups. This one has two hydrogens, doesn't work. This one doesn't work because the top and the bottom are the same. And this one doesn't work because it has two hydrogens. So this molecule does not have any chiral centers. This is Maya Loche from Transformation Tutoring, and I really hope that you found this lesson helpful.